The Black Friday deals are finally here. The first wave of eShop deals have been released, and in today's video, we have some new games at an all-time low, some fan favorites, and even a game on sale for the first time ever that might surprise you with how good it really is. Most of the games will be under $10, with that one exception for the first time ever sale. With it being such a good deal, I still wanted to show it off. Hey everyone, I'm JP, and welcome to Good Talk HQ. Here at the channel, we cover Nintendo Switch games and deals every week, plus we live stream to hang out with our community and play some new releases and games that are currently on sale. Thanks so much for checking out the video. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing to join our growing community of game enthusiasts and deal seekers. We'd love to welcome you into the group, plus we do eShop gift cards at the end of each month. All you have to do to enter is be subbed to the channel, hit the like button to help spread the video around, and leave us a comment down below so we can add your name to the current giveaway list. Happy hunting this holiday season, my friends. I hope you find all the deals that you've been waiting for. And with all that said, let's dive into the list and try to save some money together. Stay safe out there, and please enjoy the video. Alright, let's start off with the Digirati Dungeon Crawl Volume 1. This is a collection of four games from the developer with a download size of roughly four and a half gigs and dozens of hours of gameplay combined between the different games. Plus it offers local multiplayer for two players as well. Now with this bundle, you'll get the action RPG Fall of Light, the darkest edition, which follows a soldier on an adventure with his daughter. You also get Reverse Crawl, which is a turn-based RPG that allows you to control a large mob of minions as you battle the evil queen. Skelly Celeste, a run and gun style game, and then you get Unexplored the Unlocked Edition, which is another action RPG, this time it's more of a roguelike and as tough as nails. The bundle normally retails for $52.49, making this an absolute steal at its current price, so be sure to check it out before the sale ends on December 2nd, it's marked down 85% to an all time low of just $7.87. Next we have the Indie Darling Bundle Volume 2. This is another collection from Digirati, this time with 3 games and a download size of about 750 megabytes. Once again the collection offers local multiplayer for up to 2 players and dozens of hours of gameplay. With this bundle you get the fast paced 2D shooter Bleed 2, which is always a fan favorite, plus you'll get Slay Away Camp The Butcher's Cut, which is a cool and unique puzzler based on 80's horror movies, and you also get the aquatic adventure of The Last Human. This is a metroidvania style boss rush game and one of my favorite indie titles here on the Switch. The bundle is once again a steal as the retail price is $34.99 and right now you can pick it up until December 2nd marked down 85% just like the last one to an all time low of $5.24. Next we have the Angry Video Game Nerd 1 and 2 Deluxe. This is a collection of two single player action platformers based on the famous YouTube personality of James Rolfe. I have to admit I bought these long ago as a fan of the channel, but I was truly impressed by the quality. The games take roughly 5-6 to six hours to complete and has a download size of roughly 500 megabytes. Now the games were published by Screenwave Media and have us playing as the nerd himself through a series of ultra challenging platform stages. Fans of the show will notice plenty of references from the health bar to the power ups and even some of the bosses that you face off against. The game controls amazingly and offers a variety in level design. Plus, these are the enhanced versions which were revamped from the ground up. If you like tough platformers, make sure to check out the AVGN games while on sale until December 1st. Mark down 20% to a new all-time low of just $11.99. What were they thinking? Next we have Jets and Guns 2. This is an arcade-style side-scrolling shooter published by Rake and Grass and is available for one or two players in local co-op. The download size is roughly 250 megabytes and offers unlimited hours of gameplay. The levels range from space stations to cityscapes and feature relentless action, a wide variety of weapons and item upgrades, plus an intense soundtrack to keep you pumped up while playing. Now the gameplay loop is similar to Diablo in that it's an everlasting loop that just continues to get harder and harder as you test your resolve through each run. This is the second game in the series and both are on sale currently, although I think this one is just a little bit better. But if you like side-scrolling shooters, make sure to check out Jets and Guns 2 or the original before the sale ends on November 23rd. The sequels marked down 40% to an all-time low of just $8.99. Fury Unleashed is an action platformer from publisher Awesome Games and is available for one or two players in local co-op and it offers a main story that would take roughly 10-12 to 12 hours to complete. In Fury Unleashed, players blast their way through the pages of an ever-changing comic book in this fast-paced roguelite. After each run you'll be able to upgrade your character and your weapons to increase your effectiveness for the subsequent runs. Now this game really is all about the shoot 'em up action and it delivers plenty of that to keep you engaged as you try to discover why your creator has given up on you. The comic book art style and intense soundtrack are top notch and this game is highly recommended whenever it goes on sale. If you still haven't played it and you're interested in Fury Unleashed, be sure to grab it up before the sale ends on December 3rd. It's marked down 75% to an all time low of just $7.99. 
Next we have Green Hell. This is a single player adventure survival sim from publisher Forever Entertainment and will take players around 20 to 25 hours to wrap up. Now this is an unforgivingly realistic survival game that will see players dying over and over again as they learn what they can eat or drink and how they have to craft what they need to survive in this brutal environment. Players wake up in the middle of the Amazon and must find a way to survive. You'll have to craft bandages, medicines, makeshift tools, and of course you have to find food and water that's safe to consume. Each death is a new lesson, and believe me, there will be plenty of deaths, so don't let it frustrate you. Eventually, you'll master the crafting and combat systems, and then you'll feel unstoppable. If you're interested in Green Hell, make sure to grab it up before the sale ends on December 9th, while it's marked down 75% to an all-time low of just 624. To the Moon is a single-player adventure RPG developed by Freebird Games and was published by XD Network with a download size of roughly 800 megabytes and a main story that should last roughly 4 hours or so to wrap up. The game is a narrative-driven experience revolving around two doctors as they retrace a dying man's memories in order to fulfill his last wish. Throughout the story, we journey through the old man's memories and start to really understand why he's chosen this to be his dying wish. Now there's no combat, but the game does have some light puzzle solving and RPG elements throughout to keep you a bit more engaged and immersed into the story. The game is pretty heavy on the emotions though, so keep that in mind, but if you're interested in To The Moon, make sure to check it out before the sale ends on December 1st. It's marked down 30% to an all-time low of just 8.39. Next we have Kingdom Two Crowns. This is a strategy RPG published by Raw Fury with a download size of roughly 2 gigabytes and a main story that should last more than 30 hours. Plus it's also available in local co-op for 2 players as well. Now this is a minimalistic exploration and kingdom building style game with no menus or on-screen text and shown from a side view in 2D. Yet it still manages to be infused with charm and character throughout plus the story is emotional and interesting. The game will take a little bit of getting used to, but if you stick with it, there's a lot more to it than what it seems upon first play session, and in my opinion this is a perfect strategy RPG to have here on our Switch. Plus with this version you get the Deadlands and Shogun storylines as well, making it an excellent value. If you're interested in this one, make sure to check it out before the sale ends on November 24th. It's marked down 50% to an all-time low of just $9.99. Next we have Trine 4 The Nightmare Prince. This is a multiplayer puzzle platformer developed by Frozenbyte and then published by Modus Games with a download size of roughly 3.6 gigs and a main story that should last roughly 10 to 15 hours to wrap up. The game offers 1 to 4 player modes both locally and online, and having played online a bit I can say it's a lot of fun even if it gets a little bit chaotic on occasion. Now this is the newest game in the series of 2.5D platformers and has us playing as the three main characters once more on a quest to find a troubled young prince before he accidentally destroys the world. The graphics are gorgeous in this one and the story really stepped up to a new level for the conclusion of this epic adventure. Now keep in mind the collection does go on sale for $9.99, but if you're going to just get one, this is probably the one to pick up. If you're interested, make sure to grab it up before the sale ends on November 23rd. It's marked down 80% to an all-time low of just $5.99. Next we have Macrotus A Mother's Journey. This is a single player puzzle platformer from publisher East Asia Soft with a main story that will last players roughly 3 or 4 hours to wrap up. The game tells the tale of a mother's relentless search for her missing children. Now this is an emotional tale with absolutely stunning visuals here on the Switch. The puzzles are thought provoking and the controls feel great. You have to climb, jump, and chew your way through these different beautiful and dangerous environments while avoiding traps and using your mouse-like abilities to overcome the obstacles along your path. You'll even be able to gain some magical abilities along the way as well. If you're interested in this one, make sure to check it out before the sale ends on November 26th. It's marked down 35% to a new all-time low of just $7.79. Mask of Mist is a single player fantasy action adventure game from Sometimes You with a download size of 1.7 gigabytes and a main story that should last roughly 4 or 5 hours to wrap up. The game is played from a first person view and features absolutely gorgeous colorful environments, magical creatures, tough enemies, and puzzles to solve throughout. Plus there are even mysterious caves and ancient ruins that you can explore as well. The story revolves around a mercenary that's been sent out to find a missing person and this missing person is particularly important and it's not like them to be silent. Having played this one for a little bit, I bet it would look amazing on the Switch OLED as the colorful graphics would definitely pop a bit more. If you like 3D adventure games, make sure to check out Mask of Mist before the sale ends on November 27th. It's marked down 40% to an all-time low of just $8.99. Next we have Icy. 
This is a single player 2D side scrolling action RPG developed by Phantom Blade Network and then was published by the XD Network with a download size of 1.6 gigabytes and a story that should last roughly 4 or 5 hours. We play as the titular character Icy and follow as a mysterious voice guides us through with narration. However, we soon discover that this voice cannot always be trusted and so the player will have to ask why we're being told to go this direction or do this specific thing. The hack and slash combat system is amazing and the controls feel great, plus you can mess with the narrator to get them angry, which was a lot of fun. The visuals were a real treat to watch on screen and this is just another one of those games begging for the OLED to play on. If you like intense 2D action RPGs, make sure to check out Icy before the sale ends on December 1st. It's marked down 30% to just $6.99, and while it's not an all-time low, it's still an excellent value and the best we're going to probably get until next month at least. Circa Infinity. This is a single player reverse platform puzzler developed by Kenny Sun and published by Red Deer Games. Now the main game will last roughly 4 or 5 hours depending on how fast you can figure out each stage. There are 5 different worlds, each that are progressively harder than the last and I promise you by world 2 things are already chaotic. Each world has 9 levels and a main boss, for a total of 50 awesome mind bending levels and 5 different bosses. Plus the soundtrack adds a level of depth to the gameplay and the mayhem overall, plus this game is incredibly addictive. The penalty for death is next to nothing, meaning you can keep going over and over until you master the patterns and make it to the core of each world. If you're interested in Circa Infinity, please check it out. While on sale before November 26th, it's marked down 33% to an all-time low of just $6.66. The Monster Viator this is a single player adventure RPG developed by Hitpoint and published by Chemco with a main story that will last roughly 10-15 to 15 hours to wrap up. In this amazing adventure, players get to ride a dragon through an amazing pixelated world on an emotional journey along with more than 20 different monsters, all of which have unique personalities. Players have the ability to speak to monsters and along with the aid of some of the characters that you meet along the way, you'll have to try to recover your lost memories. This game is a lot of fun, and if you like RPGs, please make sure to check it out before the sale ends on November 25th. It's marked down 40% to a new all-time low of just $8.99. In Celebration of Violence is a roguelike RPG designed for up to three players from Dolores Entertainment and offers many hours of gameplay due to the multiplayer nature. The game features a massive world that is procedurally generated with swamps, cities, dungeons, and more. Plus it has a cool feature where the different elements will react with one another. For example, fire reacts to the weather, and electricity reacts to water, and so on. There are loads of secrets, different items, and more to find, so exploration is encouraged. One thing to note though, death is definitely permanent, but you can buy items to aid in your next run after you die, so it's not all that bad. If you're looking for a solid fantasy action RPG, make sure to check out In Celebration of Violence before the sale ends on November 25th. It's currently marked down 60% to an all-time low of just $5.19. Liberated the Enhanced Edition. This is a single player action platformer developed by Atomic Wolf and published by Walkabout Games, offering an immersive story that should last roughly 3 or 4 hours. Now, this is another game with a cool comic book aesthetic and sees players working their way through a gripping story. The Enhanced Edition added voiceovers to bring another element to the story and made enhancements in both content and gameplay. Plus, on top of that, they added two extra chapters to the story as well. If you're interested in Liberated the Enhanced Edition, make sure to grab it up before the sale ends on November 27th. It's marked down 55% to a new all-time low of just $8.99. Alright folks, we made it to the end of today's list. I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe found a game or two you wanted to pick up. If you made it to the end, you know you're legendary as always. We appreciate you hanging out with us again today. There will definitely be more waves of deals coming and the sales videos will probably be a little more frequent this week so we don't miss out on anything. So please, if this was your first time here, consider hitting that red button down below. That way you'll be here with us to share in the savings and it will also enter you into the giveaway for the end of this month. Again, all you have to do to enter is be subbed to the channel, hit that like button down below and leave us a comment so we can add your name to the current giveaway list. Thanks again my friends and family, stay safe out there and we'll let little man take us home as always. Bye everyone. That's all for today's list. We hope you liked the video. If you did, consider subscribing and liking down below. Okay, bye.